Hey guys, what's going on? It is Sam and in today's video, we are going to be taking a look at iOS 7.1 beta 5, which Apple released to developers earlier today at the time of creating this video. Now in this update, like the prior beta iOS 7.1 beta 4, there isn't a whole lot that has changed. Apple is definitely gearing up toward public release sometime in March people are predicting. Now, I can't tell you exactly when this is going to come out, unfortunately, because I get a lot of questions in the comments, such as, when is this going to come out? I can't really confirm that yet because, honestly, no one but Apple knows. But anyway, now that we've covered that, if you guys want to see all iOS 7 betas, they are listed down below in the description as far as iOS 7.1 goes. In case you missed one or you just want to see the progression of where iOS 7.1 started and where it is gearing up to finish. So anyway, now that we have talked about all those things, let's go ahead and cover what this beta actually changes. So first of all, there are really no speed or performance improvements. Yes, it feels maybe a bit better. That could also be my brain just telling me that it's a new beta, so everything has to be better about it. I honestly don't really feel like there's anything different or better about it. There could be. However, as far speed and performance improvements go, I honestly can't tell. Now, of course, on the user interface sides of things, we've got a couple of changes. First of all, the iOS 7 keyboard has been updated just a little bit. So with the shift key, when it is deselected, it's just an arrow up on a black key. When you tap it once, the key turns white, letting you know for sure that you are about to type a capital letter. And then when you are in caps lock mode, it has a quick double tap, a line appears under shift, letting you know that you are about to type in all caps. So it is very good to see that they have changed this to a way that you can actually tell if you're typing capital letters or lowercase letters, because in the previous betas, it was almost impossible to tell what kind of a letter you were about to type. So very glad that they changed that. Now, as far as the wallpaper, go there's a very small ui tweak here in the previous betas i showed you guys that when you were about to select the wallpaper you had the new option to enable motion on or off when ios 7.1 beta 5 when you were enabling a wallpaper you got the same option as before only this time apple gave it a new fancy name called perspective zoom now that basically just means you have motion on you can see when i have the setting turned on that i can actually move my wallpaper around when perspective zoom is off moving my device around will still keep my wallpaper stationary now, the last change in this update that we currently know about is that Siri has had voice improvements for Australian English, United Kingdom English, Japanese, and then Mandarin Chinese, as such as audio quality will be improved while you are on Wi-Fi. So guys, those are all the changes that we currently know about from iOS 7.1 beta 5. If new changes are discovered, they will be added like always at the link down below in the description. So I hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, throw me a like, and if you wanna see all iOS 7 betas, make sure you subscribe. So once again, I hope you did enjoy the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.